Hi everyone, I welcome you all to today's presentation on L form bacteria. Here I will be discussing about what are they and how they were isolated and how they were discovered, how L forms are different from mycoplasma, what are protoplasts and spheroplasts and types of L form bacteria, their characteristic features, morphology, their formation and proliferation, how can we culture them and their disease causing ability, applications of L form bacteria and how they can be implied on studies to origin of life theory. So let us begin. So these L form bacteria are the strains of bacteria that lack cell wall. Yes, these bacteria lack cell wall and they are also known as L phase bacteria, L phase variants cell wall deficient bacteria or CWD. Amy Kleineberger Nobel, she was a German Jewish microbiologist and uh, from the blood of rats she isolated gram negative bacterium Streptobacillus moliniformis and she saw some organisms without cell wall and she thought them to be symbiotic pleuronemonia like organisms. But later when she saw that they had the ability to switch between the two morphological forms, she isolated these kind of organisms and named them L form. Yes, this L comes from List Institute which is situated in London. In this institute she was working at that time. So she named these organisms L form in 1935. Now mycoplasmas are smallest known aerobic prokaryotes without cell wall, but they are not L form bacteria. Why? We can see many differences some I have mentioned here. Uh, the there is a, these mycoplasmas show high turbidity in liquid media but L forms show low turbidity in liquid media and there is no genetic relationship of mycoplasma with the bacteria whereas L forms relate to their parent bacteria and there is no evolutionary relationship with L form bacteria and mycoplasma. Now moving on we are going to discuss about protoplast and spheroplast. The altered form of plant cells, bacterial cells or fungal cells from which cell wall has been partially or completely removed. It is protoplast. But with respect to bacterial cell they are as follows protoplast and spheroplast. Protoplast are those cells from which there is complete or partial removal of cell wall. But these are from gram positive bacterial cells and they are bound by only single membrane and spheroplasts they are the bacterial cells from the gram negative bacterial cells whose partial or complete cell wall has been removed and they are bound by two membranes one inner membrane and one outer membrane. We can form protoplast and spheroplast in laboratory using mechanical method, but it is not that much used now because this can damage cell contents. And the second method which is widely used nowadays is enzymatic method. Like uh, I am giving some examples like we can use lysozyme for bacterial cell, cellulase, pectinase, xylanase for plant cell, chitinase for fung fungus cells. So these enzymes are cell wall degrading enzymes basically. Now the important point is that when these protoplasts and spheroplasts occur naturally they are referred to as L form. So the known L form bacteria in nature are Bacillus, Clostridium, Haemophilus, Pseudomonas, Staphylococcus and Vibrio. So now coming to the types of L form bacteria, they are distinguished in two types, 
first one is unstable aliform bacteria which are capable of dividing but can revert to the original morphology example is ferroplast because i have already mentioned that they have two membranes two outer membranes and then the second one is a stable L form which are unable to revert to the original bacteria because of the mutations. Now the characteristic features of L form bacteria, they have defective cell walls with remnants of murine as we can see in spheroplasts which are gram negative bacteria and without murine as in protoplast. They are sensitive to penicillin, less sensitive are spheroplast and they are nearly insensitive to penicillin which are protoplasts and they do not have a specific nutritional requirement and genetically nearly, nearly identical with their parental strain from which they are derived. They are genetically near, nearly identical. Now the morphology of l form bacteria. So the first point is that it has no cell wall, so its morphology is different from that of the strain of bacteria from which it is derived. Its morphology is different, please point, mark this point and not the genetics, the genetics is nearly same. The second point is that typical L form cells are spheres or spheroids to better withstand the rigors of its surrounding environment. And the third point is that they are stored in isotonic solution to prevent plasma membrane from rupturing or shriveling. The fourth is an interesting point here we, have, we can see that L forms can develop from both gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria. But when these L form bacteria themselves undergo gram staining, they stain gram negative due to lack of cell wall. And the last point is that gram, lack of cell wall in L forms but then also division is, is there and division is disorganized giving rise to variety of size, cell sizes which are from very tiny to very big. Uh, here you can see these uh, spherical cells, these are the L form cells. Now moving on. We are going to discuss about the formation and proliferation of L form bacteria. The whenever we say that bacterial cell, so how we define this? The defining feature of bac to be a bacteria is that they have peptidoglycan cell wall, uh, which helps in maintenance of cell shape, protection from mechanical damage, and generation of turgor and trigger innate immune responses, etc. Despite the importance of cell wall, many bacteria from both gram negative and gram positive group are capable to switch into cell wall deficient state which is L form. But why and how it is required or why they do, do this? I will discuss it in after 2 to 4 slides. But here we are going to discuss about how they form and how they proliferate. So inhibition of peptidoglycan precursor synthesis, it promotes the generation of L forms from both gram positive and gram negative bacteria and it is seen that bacteria of species Bacillus subtilis can rapidly switch to the wall free state when the production of peptidoglycan is reduced in the cell. Most bacteria divide by binary fission. So normally what happens uh, in a normal bacteria these uh, binary fission divisions are highly controlled process which involves a specific protein called FTSZ which accumulates at the site of cell division. But in L forms cell division occur but it does not require FTSZ and they show a common mechanism of proliferation which involves membrane bleeding and tubulation which is dependent on an altered rate of membrane synthesis. Excessive production of membrane leads to the cell changing shape resulting in spontaneous separation into daughter cells as I have already told, already told that uh, they are it's very big to very small sizes of daughter cells are produced from L form bacteria. I think uh, it is not that much clear but I will and like to show you some videos. Before that let us discuss about the FTSZ protein mechanisms. Uh, 
here what happened that uh, the scientists the researchers have used the FTSZ gene and they engineered it so that they can turn it off and turn it on whenever required. So when they uh, used first they used normal bacterial cells. So when they turned off the FTSZ gene then this cell started uh, like extending like a filament and then they then they burst and it was completely lethal in normal cells. But in L form background whatever you do means either you switch off FTSZ or F, either you switch on FTSZ whatsoever it has no effect on these cells. We, either you can completely delete the FTSZ gene and it makes no difference whatsoever to the proliferation of the alpha bacteria. So the question arises how they actually proliferate. So let me show you a video regarding this the proliferation of alpha bacteria. So you can see that it is very haphazard and heterogeneous and certain cells are spontaneously emerging into several small uh, or tiny progeny cells and sometimes you can see the chain of cells being generated. So these cells form a common uh, proliferate using common event like cubulation, season and bleeding. Uh, so here in the first series of diagrams you can see there is a in one kind of event a round L form bacteria is there, it grows in size and it starts to elaborate to its tubular structure and uh, which then grows and eventually break down into a chain of apparently connected progenies and so here we can see the emergence of 5 to cell, 6 cells in a single event. And uh, in second diagrams, uh, second photographs you can see that uh, there is a larger L form bacteria and here are some pulsating changes in the cell surface and these then the eruption at the several points of the cell of a series of small progeny cells. So these are very very strange events and but they occur simultaneously in any L form bacteria during their proliferation. So I am going to discuss about the two bacteria which uh, were described by Gram nearly 130 years ago. They are completely different groups of bacteria and uh, there is a billion years of evolutionary divergence between these cells. Uh, so but then also these L forms show uh, look remarkably similar. So first I am going to show about the uh, L form of Cornibacterium glutamicum which is a gram negative bacteria and these L forms are growing in nutrient broth liquid media. So, so these uh, shows very haphazard bleeding and tubulation process in liquid media and the second one is about the Escherichia coli strain which is a gram negative bacteria growing in nutrient agar semi solid media and there is similar proliferation event occur given that these cells are partially immobilized and uh, they given it is very haphazard and it is not a binary fusion. So now uh, there is a model on how these L forms proliferate. So let's start with this uh, small spherical cell. This L form actually makes excess amount of membrane, and the only way to lose it is to the excess surface area is to change the shape of the cell, and or in this process they get deformed, and the pin the cells pinch off at some of these lobes, generate a bunch of smaller cell progenies and again total surface area of these smaller cells is uh, greater than the surface area of the single cell of equivalent total volume. So these are extremely simple mechanism and there is no complex protein machinery needed. Now how can we generate these L forms in the laboratory? Uh, they can be generated in laboratory from the bacterial species which have cell walls and by inhibiting the peptidoglycan synthesis with antibiotics or treating the cells with lysozyme. They can be generated in a culture media that is same osmolarity as a bacterial cytosol and isotretin solution which prevents cell lysis by osmotic shock and L form strains obtained thus can be unstable. So we can prevent it 
by long term culture of the cells under the same condition that were used to produce them. Uh, so, this is caused by L form bacteria. L forms are mainly found in the those animals which are infected by L form bacteria, which are you know means uh, which are animals which are infected by bacteria. There we can find the L forms of these bacteria. Actually, the tissue provides protection from the osmotic lysis and uh, let us consider that when a doctor is prescribing someone antibiotics against uh, that uh, bacterial disease, then those bacteria they switch on to the L form and if the antibiotics they cannot uh, degrade the cell wall of the bacteria. So, these they escape the antibiotics and when the antibiotic uh, treatment therapy is stopped then they again come back to the cell walled bacteria. So, in this process they cause chronic diseases and some of the species of L form bacteria that have been implicated in chronic disease include Bacillus anthracis, Tryponema palladium, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Helicobacter pylori, Rickettsia and Borrelia burgdorferi. And not all L form bacteria actually cause disease. Their applications of L form bacteria may be useful in research in biotechnology and these strains can are near examined for possible uses in biotechnology as host strains for recombinant protein production. And as there is no cell wall, so they can allow the production of large amount of secreted proteins that would otherwise accumulate in the periplasmic space of bacteria. And uh, the origin of life, how can we relate these bacteria to that the we can see that there is a ability, L forms have the ability to divide even in the absence of cell wall and uh, not even using the protein FTS which is high very high and highly unusual process. So, the results suggest that the L form mode of proliferation is conserved across the bacterial kingdom. So, this reinforces the idea that it could have been used in primitive cells for their reproduction or proliferation and uh, this also opens up, up its use in generation of synthetic cells. These are the few uh, papers, uh, this one is the most important one which has helped me a lot in this uh, compiling this the review article or L from bacteria, chronic diseases and the origins of life, then this general principles for formation and proliferation of wall free state in bacteria and the books Kalyan Ki Mandal Plant Bacteriology and SC Dubey a textbook of fungi bacteria viruses and Wikipedia pages and uh, uh, this YouTube uh, of Royal Society Publishing and this YouTube link is for the videos I have used on L form bacteria how they show under microscope ok. So, thanks for watching and if you have any queries or suggestions or feedback please contact us to our email. Thanks everyone.